Well, I'm Miguel from all around the world, or wherever you guys are watching from. This is good friend Miguel, and I'm back here again, making you guys another video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So, guess what, guys? Uh, before we get started with the video, I guess you guys can see that my in my face cam, you guys can see that I'm a little bit pale. <laughs> it's just the lining right here in my room. It's really uh, not good lining, but you know, you have to use what you use, right? Can't do what you can't do. Nothing about it. Yeah. So. Yeah, my skin looks a little bit pale and white, um, so I look unhealthy in the face cam. Not a good thing. But we're not here to talk about me and my sort of pale skin. <laughs> Even though I have tan skin, but the camera doesn't show it. Whatever. But we're here to talk about the sort of um, bash that Sasha Banks is uh, getting from people because of Paige's injury. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, people over the weekend have, ever since the story of Paige's uh, injury um, went out, and when people saw the video of how it happened, people immediately took blame to Sasha because the way how Sasha kicked Paige. And all I can say is that, no. It wasn't Sasha's fault. It wasn't Sasha's fault, guys. I mean, you guys can argue with me and say, Dude, what are you talking about? You can clearly see that Sasha kicked Paige with full force. And because of that, Paige went down and she hit her head. And that's why she got the injury. No, guys. It's because a long time ago, Paige... And WWE were having an argument about Paige having some sort of a surgery on her neck. Because if you guys don't know, when Paige heard the news that she uh, had an injury on her neck last year, um, that she would get surgery. But WWE told her that she doesn't, she doesn't need the surgery. That she doesn't need it. But Paige just ignored them and she just went on and just got the surgery anyway. And I think... Maybe it was because of her not listening to the company. Maybe that's why uh, her neck is all fucked up by now. Because right when she came back, um, the doctors over at WWE told her, told Paige, that she should stop doing this and she should stop wrestling and she doesn't need to do this anymore. Even though Paige wants to do it, but the doctors are saying that she can't because of her neck. So Paige already had a warning and Paige, I don't, I don't know if she knew, but she knew maybe, that, that's just from my perspective, but Paige should have known that this would happen if she would have come back to the ring. And guess what? She came back, she suffered an injury with uh, Sasha on that night at uh, New York at the house show. And you guys saw the footage, uh, she got kicked, she went down, she was strong enough to get up, she couldn't do anything, the doctors came in, they were checking on her, and boom. A month later, the news comes out and she can't wrestle. And it's all because that Paige was, I'm just going to use this in a, in a light situation, but she was sort of being stubborn of not listening to the company and they were telling her not to not wrestle anymore, to, to stop it, but she didn't want to hear it. She just went on and, went on and do it, and that's about it. And because of that, she got her sincer... Why am I stumbling so much? <laughs> My bad, guys. It's early morning. It's currently 11.19 uh, a.m., so I just got up, so... I apologize if uh, this video is not going the way <laughs> as I want it to. But, you know, that's what happens. I am the early bird. Yeah, the early bird. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, guys, just don't be an asshole and just blame Sasha for the situation. I mean, it was just a mistake. And Paige should have known that this would happen. Paige should have known that this would happen. So I'm not saying that that this was actually Paige's fault. It's just that, you know what? 
When somebody tells you not to do something, just listen to them. And if you do, everything will be a-okay. But if you don't, things can go a lot worse than it was before. And in this case, in Paige's uh, career, it did. So, um, oh yeah, also one thing <laughs> I forgot to mention. Um, on my last video when I posted up of Paige's uh, um, career being over in WWE, I accidentally said that we were going to see what happens in Paige's uh, um, career tonight on Monday Night Raw. I said it on that video. Even though I made that video on Saturday, and I told, <laughs> and, I, and on that video I said that we're going to be seeing what's going to be happening to Paige tonight. Even though it was on Saturday and while I was on Monday, which is two days away, I don't know. I wasn't fully awake at that time. It was currently at night, uh, really late. It was like, I think it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I stay up really late uh, because uh, I do my own shit. So, yeah. Don't accuse me of uh, staying up all night. We all do it. Except if you're a little kid and you have bedtime, then you make sure you get some sleep. So you get ready to go to school and be awful energetic. Me? Um, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> the only thing I have to do is just work. That's about it. So I'm pretty good. But anyways, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, just don't blame Sasha for this kind of situation. I mean, it just happens. And, you know, everybody knows that wrestling is a physical uh, sport to do. Even though there were some people that were saying that it's fake and all that bullshit yeah we know that but the physicality in there is real I mean sometimes there are some accidents when you accidentally punch somebody in the face or when you kick somebody in the face I mean if you guys don't remember what happened to Austin Aries if you guys don't remember what happened to Samoa Joe remember when they were fighting against Shinsuke Nakamura when Austin Aries suffered that oh that massive blow right into the eye and it broke his orbital bone right in the eye and his eye was sweating up so much like a grapefruit it wasn't really that good dude it was terrible and I and after that remember what happened to Samoa Joe when Samoa Joe uh, broke his jaw with Shinsuke Nakamura um, kicked him right in the knee well used his knee and kicked him right in the mouth and it dislocated his jaw yeah that fucking was terrible dude and I'm not saying that Shinsuke Nakamura is reckless. I'm just saying that he is the king of strong style. Everybody knows that. He does do that shit in real life in Japan. Everybody should know that. So, accidents do happen, dude. But, you know, when somebody tells you that you should not do this, you're done, just listen to them. I mean, if that was, in, if that was my career and my doctor came up to me, and said that Miguel you don't have to do this you're done it's for your safety and I would listen to them I, even though I will be like mad as hell even though I will be pissed as hell that I won't be wrestling no more it's for my safety and I will be good that, that's that's about it even though I might come out there as a on-air character you know I could be a manager an announcer, a, a backstage announcer, all that stuff. I mean, you guys can see what happened to Corey Graves. Corey Graves is actually a good example of a guy that had to end his career due to the multiple concussions that he suffered in NXT and through all his life. And because of that, so many concussions that he suffered he announced his retirement at an NXT TakeOver show. I forgot what it was called. I do remember what, what show that was. But he announced his retirement. And he said that he wasn't going to be wrestling anymore. But he did have some good news. And the good news is that Corey Graves has decided and made an agreement with the company that he will be an on-air announcer. And... From that point, Corey Graves just skyrocketed and just made a 
he has been a great, great announcer. From NXT to Monday Night Raw to SmackDown Live, even from 205, 205 Live, if you guys don't know that he was on 205 Live announcing. So Corey Graves, I can honestly say that even though it was kind of sad that his career was shortened, his in-ring, in-ring wrestling career was shortened, it was actually a good thing for him because his announcing was just great. It was great, dude. So, all I'm saying is that even though Paige's wrestling career is done, in wing wrestling career, I'm not talking about her full full career is done. I'm just talking about her in wing wrestling career is done. Maybe Paige might be doing something great, the same as Corey Graves did. She might be a great announcer. I mean, we've never heard Paige announce before. I mean, we've heard her talk with the announcers when she was the uh, Divas Champion, uh, but we actually never heard her um, announce. So, Paige as a female announcer would be great. Would be great. Um, and uh, as a manager, might be great too. The one part is that we actually don't know how long Absolution will stay together because of the crack in the middle and the te- and the crack I'm talking about is Paige not being there. So all we have to do is wait and see what happens tonight. Tonight, Monday Night Raw. Let, let me see if I got my dates right. Yeah, today's Monday. Okay, so I want to make sure if I got that right. Yeah, I'm going to be seeing what's going to be happening tonight on Monday Night Raw with Absolution and everybody else. And maybe Paige might come out and announce her, uh, her, well, um, announce what's going to be happening in her career. And let's see what happens, uh, tonight on Monday Night Raw, so. But, like I said, guys, don't blame Sasha. If you're blaming Sasha, you're just an asshole and you're just being ignorant. Because you guys don't know anything about the wrestling business. Especially the, uh, people that are, that are new. To the wrestling business, but for the people who are sticking around and uh, have been watching wrestling for a long time, if you guys are blaming Sasha, I'm not calling you guys assholes. I'm just telling you guys, just lay off, just lay off her. I mean, it happens. Accidents happen. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys on the next video and. If Paige does do something tonight on Monday Night Raw and she says something about her career, then I'll be coming back up here and say thank you, Paige, for your awesome ass career. And I'll relive all of the memories that I've had with uh, Paige's debut on WWE and on NXT, too. So if Paige does announce something on WWE on Monday Night Raw tonight, I'll come up here and make a video and uh, yeah, let's just see what happens then. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out guys, stay too cool, bye.